Greetings, dear friends. I present your attention the most common wealth functions and breakdowns that are found on the Skoda Fabia. As befits a car produced by the Volkswagen concern, the build quality of the body is at the height, and the ergonomics of the cabin are almost impeccable, well adjusted for the class. But still, despite the ceremonial appearance of the paintwork, corrosion is always somewhere nearby. Pay attention to the tips of the fenders in the places where they fit to the bumpers, the bottoms of the doors and the pads under the moldings. And the control heated bonnet also rests along the leading edge, just about a slowly peeling from of the grille. In more advanced cases, corrosion can be found both on the windshield frame and on the rear arches. And if the plastic of the underbody protection is damaged or is absent altogether, then the seams on the bottom and the seals are also at risk. By the way, the number of aerodynamic elements from below resembles other supercars. Two large panels completely cover the floors. A solid boot in the engine compartment in the front and a developed ski of the rear bumper in the back. The result of such a study of aerodynamics is quite tolerable noise in the cabin with almost complete absence of noise insulation. Actually, the main troubles relate to the salon and have already been maimed. In addition, the resource of the value generator is frankly small. It sometimes takes care of less than 150,000 km, and after overcoming the city ports, it can fail almost immediately. Rear light bars also often fail. The dashboard harness is mainly damaged by the installers of alarms and music. The car is often taken without standard systems, and those masters are still busy with such work. The engine management system and the engine compartment wiring are generally reliable, except that the radiator fans after 5 years of life in traffic jams have very large backlashes and can fail. The car's suspensions are very simple, a McPherson strut and a twist beam at the back, and there is essentially nothing to break there. The supports of the front struts in the PPD version package for bad roads are very reliable, as well as the shock absorbers. Damage to the silent blocks and the ball joint of the lever is usually the result of serious blows. The hubs do not fail by themselves either. Behind everything is literally for centuries. Two silent blocks of a beam can outlive the car itself, unless the owner draw on a dirt road with a full load. The brakes are also simple, pleasant with a good combination of convenience and reliability. Don't worry about the drums in the back, they work great, only the ABS unit fails. Its initial algorithm is not the most successful on almost all cars, very weak braking in the corner and strong release on bumps. All kinds of custom firmware that the owners installed in garage service in the hope of changing the nature of the insidious block often lead to its failure. The steering is ideal if there is a version without an amplifier, but there are no practically no such cars. Most cars have an EGUR. This is a combination of conventional hydraulic rack and an electric pump. The material of the seals is supplied by the not entirely successful oil. After 5 to 6 years and a mileage of 19 100,000 km, it becomes heavily contaminated and the pump begins to hole. According to the regulations, replacement is not required, but it is better to do it immediately, since there is oil on sale, but many liquid will do. When replacing by displacement, only a liter is required, and with a good probability the electric pump will continue to live for a long time. If you stubbornly listen to the hole, then the pump will periodically turn off and eventually die completely. Judging by practice, it cannot be restored. You will need at least 25,000 rubles for a replacement. In addition, for the company, most likely the rack will also fail. Pump wear products will be stuffed into the oil seals. The electric booster appeared on restyled cars, but it is relatively rare and is not seen in any particular troubles. Probably attention should be paid to the wiring, as on the other similar devices. Most of the Fabia have manual gearboxes and are very good in terms of reliability. After all, the mechanics on them are very good, except that with the 1.2 TSI and 1.6 engines, the boxes reach their strength threshold, but with 1.4 there are no problems. The 7-speed DSG DQ200 robot with dry clutches has already been mentioned several times. Better not to take it, even taking into account the fact that the Fabia was equipped with only late versions of this automatic transmission and only in combination with weak 1.2 TSI engines. But the Isen Hydraulic Automatic TF60SN aka 09 j in the Volkswagen nomenclature with the 1.6 engine proved to be excellent. Indeed, this box was originally designed for much more powerful motors and even taking into account the useless cooling system with the heat exchanger and the 105-degree thermostat, it serves for a long time and very reliably. True, if it pulls, then it's unlikely that it will be possible to cure it cheaply. The bulk of the engines for the Fabia are 1.4 MPI and 1.6 MPI engines with 4 cylinders with multi-point injection. They are very simple, they belong to the same family, but nevertheless, the newer 1.6 has a timing chain drive, not a belt. 
and the chain in this case is a much less preferable option. Its resource is poorly predictable, from 80 to 160,000 km, and the belt stably runs 90,000 from replacement to replacement and rarely fails. The resource of the piston group of engines 1.4 is consistently high, often about 250,000 km. There are also 300 plus instances. All leptide is common, usually as a result of either severe underheating due to a faulty thermostat or overheating during operation in traffic jams. It is clearly expressed after 120,000 km of run in a good third of the motors in the population. The reasons are quite simple and easily removable. Valve seals crankcase ventilation system with the braking PCV valve and as a result cocking of the piston rings. If you change the valve in time and monitor the ventilation, then the chances of normal operation are good. The motors are judged by the opinion that they are not repairable. They will really do not have standard red dimensions, no pistons, piston rings, and there are some nuances in the reassembly process. Nevertheless, the motors get over perfectly well. Red dimensions are far from always. The quality of the block material is very high, and even if it runs over 200,000 km, the wear doesn't exceed one or two size groups. Motors 1.4 have the best piston group possible for Fabia. 1.6 shorter T-shaped pistons account for all the problems familiar to Paul Sedan, owners with C, F and A engines. Small scuffing of cylinders and pistons, rapid well wear and even the chain sometimes makes noise and jumps, especially in versions with the old front the engine cover and the old type of chain and tensioner. The main troubles of motors are the thermostat, poor quality of gaskets and seals, very slow warm-up and difficulties with choosing and oil. For short runs, oils with the viscosity of SAE30 are highly recommended, but if the car is in traffic jams a lot, then it is better to pour SAE40 or even SAE50. Very narrow crankshaft journals and low operating pressure of the oil make it sensitive to viscosity loss. In addition, the radiators are rather weak and easily get dirty. Another regulation for replacing spark plugs provokes the failure of individual ignition coils. Here it is a consumable. The engine management system for 1.4 Magneti Morelli 4HV can be a bit of a hassle, sometimes it can be difficult to diagnose. Motors are very sensitive to throttle contamination and fuel pump pressure, a non-return power system is used. The gas pump, by the way, is frankly weak. It is often changed to Bosch from BAS models, VAZ models, and it seems that it is a good replacement for the original. The design of the 1.2 thread cylinder engines, which are the leading ones in prevalence, is much less successful. The diamond chain here is almost the same as on 1.6 engines, but it is more loaded due to the presence of a balanced shaft drive. Its resource is consistently less than 100,000 km, which usually becomes a very big surprise for the owners. In addition, the motor is all aluminum with nickel plated liners. It is the strong Nicasso that is used here and not Alucel as in other manufacturers, but there are problems with it, especially if the piston rings are destroyed, which unfortunately happens. However, in most cases, the old appetite is caused by the occurrence of rings and their severe wear. The selection of materials for the rings was not very successful among the designers, and the pistons are according to wear on the hard coating of the cylinder. For some reason, most of the owners of Volkswagen or Skoda cars believe that the oil consumption of the engine is normal, and the employees of car service centers are in solidarity with them. But if you persistently add oil, the nickel will also be erased, and then the crankshaft will spin, the engine will go to the trash heap. Surprisingly, just in case, the manufacturer even produced piston overhaul sizes, although few people undertake to sharpen Nicosil and the price of overhaul dimensions bites. During overhaul, they often put liners from VAZ. The operating temperature of the engine 1.2 is also high, but it warms up to it only in traffic jumps. Thermostat also brings it down. Frontal problems are almost the same as on engines 1.4 and 1.6, but the engine control system here easily tolerates halide pollution. By the way, vibration on a three-cylinder engine is often not double vision, but signs of the end of the timing. Because of the blows in it, it cuts off the key on the balance shaft. With all, the features are the same as those of the older brothers, and even the load on the liners is higher in general. The quality of oil and pressure must be monitored. At the slightest sign of lack of pressure, measure and look for the cause. If the hydraulic liner is knocked, then immediately stop operation and go to the service. By the way, with such a motor, the car doesn't warm up well, even if the thermostat is fully functional, but the load is small. For example, in the urban cycle with prolonged idling. More fresh engines on the turbocharged 1.2 TSI and 1.4 TSI engine on the Fabia RS have the same problems with the timing chain, and for 1.2 they are aggravated by the mistake of designers. Often the resource of chains on machines of the first releases do not exceed 30-50 thousand kilometers. Warming up thermostat throttle and other problems are similar. 
The all appetite for the 1.2 engine is weak. Difficulties with liners are rare, but trouble troubles are added associated with the pressurization system. A small resource of the induction pump, sensitivity to fuel quality, contamination of nozzles, turbine breakdowns, especially in cars manufactured before 2013, and failures of the intercooling system. But the thrust is excellent, and the motor is very economical. The 1.4 engine has a much more complex pressurization system and a tendency to burn out pistons, but this is unlikely to stop someone who wants a Fabia RS. On this information, both the problems of Scott of Fabia is exhausted. If you know more or do not agree with what you heard, I am waiting for you in the comments.